What's up y'all, welcome back. Hope y'all are doing good. Today I'm making part two of my vinyl collection. How I'm gonna do this is every time I get like 10, 10 new records, I'll just add, upload that, like add it, and just keep on going to make a playlist out of this. And the record that I'm playing right now, it's got a little bit of skips on it. The last song on this side, it does not play, but I'll go ahead and show y'all that. I'm gonna turn it down. I gotta figure out a good volume before I start these. But I think that's a good volume. And as you can see, I don't know if I said that, but I got all my, I got some stuff. Mountain Dew record, Hank 3. Hank 3 album. I got a Lord and Savior Jesus Christ up there. I got a Leonard Skinner poster over there. And I got a Skinner poster right there. And then a Murder Junkies poster. And then. Right here, I don't know how I'm gonna get this in the videos, but I got a print out of Sid Vicious right there, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, let me go ahead and start the video out here and show y'all the first first record of part two of my vinyl collection, David Allen Co. Spectrum VII. Now this album. It's pretty good. It plays pretty well. It's a good listening experience, except for a little bit, like, very small amount of skips on it. But, and then one song on the, on side one does not play, so I will have to get up to change that. But other than that, it's a really good listening experience, and then it's got this cool little note on here. I'll let y'all pause and read if you want to, but then it's got the lyric sheet with it. I'm also going to have like a little stand for all my vinyl records right there too. So that's going to be pretty neat. And then first up here, oh hold on, I just showed y'all this one. Let me go, let me, let me get a different one here to show y'all. Alright, here we go. First up here, or second up, I have David Allen Co. Just Divorced. Now this is, a. Uh, am very sad because none of these songs play on here except for one, my most favorite, probably my favorite song that he ever did. I want to know I'm going home, but this is why I don't like risk it and just buy stuff off eBay that is not graded. I always go with Discogs or just get something that's been graded. So I think I'm just going to leave this album for display because I'm pretty sad it does not play because a good album, but here's the, what the lyric sheet looks like. But that's why you don't buy stuff unless it has the grading level on there. Um, like with this one, it, it had the, the grading on there, so I was able to know what I was getting, you know. But this one, they just, they just didn't have it, so it was a gamble, and like, even I knew that. But I, I wanted to risk it because I have been wanting to get this album, but I risked it and it was not worth it, so. But next up here I have Skinner's first and last. So this album is pretty cool. The first Skinner album I got. It opens up, it's got three pages here. So let me show you all this. So it's got pictures and whatnot. And then it's got concert pictures and there they all are on the bottom right there and then it's just got it doesn't really have an inner sleeve so it's just got a MS, mca print on there nothing too special to show off but this is a good album it does play all the way through which i'm happy about next up here i have um a Lonesome White and the Holy Spooks album. I do have two CDs from his other band, Those Poor Bastards. But here is this one. I do like I do like a lot of his stuff. It's it's definitely not for everybody, but I do I do enjoy it quite a bit. So here's the album. This is Dream Curse. And I'll show you all that vibe. My favorite song on here is Big Lonely World. That's really the song that, that like got me exposed to Lonesome White and the holy spooks and those poor bastards and all that so that's definitely my favorite song because that's the first one that i heard by him and then this is really cool it's got this lyric sheet here i'm not gonna put it all the way but it's got all the lyrics going in a spiral here like a big circle so i do find that to be really cool also y'all have noticed i'm not wearing a hat I'm, uh, i forgot to do a hat but 
that's all right. You know, I don't need to have every single video. But anyway, there's that one. Next up here, we have an old Char the Charlie Daniels Band album. Charlie Daniels Band Whiskey. Now, this is a really cool album. It's a it's an older one that he made. Go ahead and show you all this up close out of there, out of that. And here's a little cool note, so y'all can go ahead and read that. And there's the songs. Let's see, it does not have an inner sleeve. All of these have inner sleeves, but the one the ones that I'm not showing y'all, they're just plain generic white ones, or it's just nothing really that like I'd want to go out of my way to open it all up and show y'all, if that makes sense. Next up here, I have one of the most controversial and the most disgusting people ever ever to exist. G.G. Allen's Carnival of Excess. This is G.G. Allen and the Criminal Quartet. I am trying in the process of getting some some more of his rare stuff. This is only the only album that I have by him so far, but I would like to get get a lot more of his stuff. Now I do I do like his stuff quite a bit. It's definitely not for everybody. Most people hate this guy. Most people do not want want to listen to his stuff. And he hit, well, I'm not supporting him or anything he's done. I just like his music. And then there's the vinyl. It's got a picture of him and a little cool color. Now, I don't like the colored albums as much as just the, the plain black ones, but it is cool to have, like, different stuff in here, you know? I definitely think that's cool that it's got a picture of him on there, but here is this one. And then next up here, I have somebody older. I'm not sure if many people now heard of her, Julie Andrews. I just started getting into a lot of her music. Now this record came from Japan, so it had, I thought it had some Japanese writing in there, but no, it does not have an inner sleeve to it. I had to, I had to get one myself, but this one does play perfect, surprisingly, so I'm glad about that. Next up here, I have, now I am getting sleeves for all, outer sleeves for all my records. I already have like over 95% of them. I, just like the new ones, I ran out of sleeves. That's why this one does not have a sleeve. Now this is John Prime Pink Cadillac. I do I do like John Prime. Big shout out to my dad for getting me turned on to him because he he told me to play some of his music one day and I did in the car and then I just I really liked it. So I started listening to him. I do have one of his new records from when he was really old. Like he was older in the record because it was a, it's like one of the newer ones that he did before he passed away but oh i forgot i don't have a sleeve but yeah definitely go check out some of his stuff he, he he's done a lot of really good music he's he's made a couple songs it, oh, okay. i forgot what i was gonna say but he's he's done a lot of good stuff he was big into politics back in the day made some songs protesting the vietnam war and stuff like that so he's really cool got some really good messages in his songs Next up here, I have Merle Haggard and the Strangers. I love Dixie Blues. Hold on, I want to make sure this. Is, I don't need to go skip this. Let me see. Nope. But this is Merle Haggard and the Strangers. I love Dixie Blues. Now I really do like this album. I, I really do like Merle Haggard and a lot of his stuff. Let me see if there's an inner sleeve in here that I can show y'all. Nope. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that this does get stuck here at some point so i will have to go ahead and fix that just a heads up next up here i have the charlie daniels band volunteer jam now these records are, are confusing to me the his volunteer jam stuff because on discogs it comes up as his but they're, they got all these other bands on here so that stuff is just confusing to me. Alright, I might have to go skip that. But then here is the back of that one. And that's that's it. This one did not come with the inner sleeve, sadly. It is not in the best condition either, but it's still an enjoyable list and it plays all the way through. So that's good. And then finally here, I have Hank Williams Jr. Whiskey Bent and Hellbound. 
This one did not have an inner sleeve. It didn't come with any sleeve. I had to supply my own with it. But I am trying to get a lot more Hank Jr. stuff. So yeah, that's it for my vinyl collection part two. I'm going to be going like every 10 records I get. I've still got a lot to do in that pile, but that's how I'm going to do it so far. And yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this new content I'm doing. I'm going to try and do some metal detecting videos and snake hunting videos soon. But yeah, that's all I got for today. Thank y'all for watching. Peace. If it'll turn off.